everybody. Welcome back to Facebook for Thursday evening. I hope you're all at home, sheltered in place, and having a good time with your family, or maybe reading a good book, or like me, maybe out riding your bike. I rode my bike this morning. Today I'm joined by Councilmember Brian Bird and Councilmember Dennis Shingleton. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Great to have you with us. We're going to talk today a little bit about the newest of our council committees. These committees are also made up of business and medical professionals with the two council members. This is the core committee, the Committee on Reopening the Economy, and it's an exciting plan and an exciting strategy, and they're just on the tip of the iceberg talking about it. But before we go into interviews with the council members about the committee, I want to give you the daily COVID update. We don't have the total cases for the day, but I can tell you that Tarrant County is well over a thousand cases and growing. And today we have 19 fatalities. That's up two from the night, and that's Fort Worth fatalities. And Tarrant County has 37 fatalities. Those numbers just continue to break my heart. But stay vigilant, stay home, and we will flatten that curve, and we will be COVID-19. Yesterday, I mentioned that we were building a framework of what it might look like as we began to reopen the economy and what you might could see and what data points are we looking at to do, do that. So that's why Councilmember Bird and Councilmember Shingleton are with me today. So Dennis, let's hear a little bit from you what the goal of this committee might be. Well, this committee on the uh, uh, realign, or reopening the economy met earlier this week, and it's as the mayor said, it's composed of some medical folks, business folks, uh, experts in the field, uh, government leaders, a real montage, but we're getting a lot of experience on that committee, a lot of good dialogue this past uh, uh, meeting. And uh, I hope that uh, we'll come up with a very, very um, constructive group of comments and group and suggestions on how to make this work. Are you looking at an instant timetable? Are you looking oh, no, for this some is, run one way? This run is gonna, we got to be very patient with this whole thing, just like we've been patient with the, uh, the the duties of our citizens and the duties of our public. We've got to be patient with this. It's going to be a a, a very um, slow, insidious process. I'm afraid. Yeah, it's a, the committee's got a lot to look at. You can't just flip the switch and make no. it all come back. So, Brian, I know. Brian Bird is a doctor, and he's been in this field a he's long a time. He's a physician. He's a physician. Physician, yes. He's a physician. I've been corrected. I about <laughs> that. I thought it was a sign. <laughs> but Brian is well versed in this, and Councilmember Shingleton is a pharmacist in public health, so they're the ideal two. So, Brian, why don't you tell us about the principles y'all are using to evaluate? Here? Well, thank you, Mayor. And first of all, I want to say that you've done a fantastic thank job you. leading us, and so has the county leadership. And all you have to do is look at the fact that our hospitals are not overrun right now. You guys have done a great job leading this. I can tell you from a physician's perspective, I talk to doctors every day, I'm in the hospital pretty much every day. We wanna see any kind of reopening done in a slow, gradual process. It has to be done in a way that we can still contain this virus. One of the things that we don't wanna see, and I can tell you this also, as a businessman who owns a business here in Fort Worth, the worst thing we could do is rush into this, do it too quickly and haphazardly, and a month or two after that, we have a resurge in the virus, our hospitals are overrun, and we have to go back to where we were and lose all this momentum that we have built up. Yeah. We do not want to see that happen. We do not want to see that. It is going to be gradual, and the data, the guiding principles that y'all are going to use have to be solid and grounded in science. That, that's exactly right, Mayor. There are a number of uh, things that this committee is benefiting from. First of all, on the other side of the world, countries are trying to reopening and we're learning from their experience and sometimes their mistakes. There are also a lot of think tanks around the United States that are working on this, but there are just a few things to keep in mind. One is that we want to see the number of new cases decline for a period of time, at least for 14 days before we start doing this. We also need a treatment in place. Our physicians working every day and our nurses, our respiratory therapists, they need some kind of a treatment that we can rescue people out of a difficult situation. I can tell you, I've seen it. This is a nasty bug. Do not take it lightly. It messes with your heart. It chews up your lungs. 
And we're finding out now it even chews up their kidneys and your liver. And it's just a bad, bad actor. One that most of us haven't seen one this bad ever in our careers. And a couple other things on this, Mayor, for this committee to look at. We're going to need broad testing so that we can figure out very quickly where the new cases are. And then we can do what's called contact tracing. And that's where we track down the first contacts of the people that have been diagnosed. And it's just someone from the health department talking to another Texan and saying, you've been around somebody who's been diagnosed, need to stay in for 14 days. All good points that people really do need to pay attention to. That's right. Stay home, right? That's exactly right. That's right. You've got it. Dennis, these are critical milestones, but we hear a lot of talk about PPE and the masks that we're all wearing. What are y'all doing considering the questions and things like masks and uh, what citizens yes. need to do? And, and uh, those questions have come up in a, in a variety of uh, phone conversations to us as singular, singular councilmen, but to the groups in general. And, and what are we doing? What is the role of the face mask? How are we going to continue this? Um, do retail businesses have to screen customers? We've gotten all kinds of questions like that. Um, do, how long do we have to remain sheltered? Are we going to narrow it down? To, can we be sheltered five days a week and get out two days? It, all sorts of questions like that that precipitate a, a lengthy discussion and a certain amount of uh, brain power and experience to get it uh, together. We are, as we have received all along, received uh, a direction from on the federal level, the state level, the county levels, uh, our, our uh, partners uh, across North Texas. How are they handling it? So we, we have sort of a unified effort here. It's a real challenge up and down the line. Yeah, it's a virus that crosses county lines, yes. crosses state lines. And as Brian said, that the, the vaccine is, a, uh, is an essential part, but also drugs that will treat this, at least mitigate some of this right. an essential part. If we can get something in the hopper, something in our holster that makes this work, we're better off. That's right. And it's just residents, the way we're going to treat it is to stay home, to help mitigate, to wear your mask when you can, to wash your hands, cough into your sleeve, and follow the CDC. So CORE is really looking at guidelines and data, answering the big questions, going to the epidemiologists, going to the medical doctors, going to the business community, talking to residents and their ideas are to come up to help guide us to pass on to the county and the governor and the White House, what we're seeing here. There's no exact formula for what CORE might do, but they're gonna come up with a lot of good questions and hopefully a lot of good answers. I wish I could tell you a set timeline, but I can't right now, but we are working on it and you need to know that on behalf of Fort Worth. The overall health and safety of our community is critical to all of us. We won't open this too soon, nor will we hold it back so long that the economy and small businesses are totally dead. So one more thing, I want to invite everybody to join us tonight for a citywide, countywide, and indeed Dallas and Tarrant County together. It's a DFW ovation. It's hashtag DFW ovation. Go out on your porch at seven o'clock, turn your lights on, although it might still be light. Yes, probably. Ring a bell, cheer, <laughs> clap your hands to celebrate the medical workers who mm -hmm. are on the front line, the first responders who really put themselves and their children and their wives and their spouses in jeopardy every day as they work with COVID-19. But they sign on for that duty and it's our duty to thank them for all they're doing. So as we do every day, y'all stay safe, Y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home. Stay on your front porch. <laughs>